everyone. I am here with a Bible reading for you this beautiful Sunday. What's the weather like where you guys live? Today here in Ohio, where I live, it's very dreary. Looks like it's going to rain. This looks really like it's going to pour the rain in any minute, but it isn't doing anything. Looked like that all day yesterday, too. We have a very good Bible reading today. Very good. And that will be Ephesians chapter 2, if you'd like to follow along with me. <coughs> We're going to talk about how we become made alive in Christ. And talk about how Gentiles, like me and Sherm, anybody who is not a Jew is a Gentile. How Gentiles... Have, can now be accepted just like all the Jews are accepted by God because before they were not but since Jesus came now everyone is can be if you are saved you'll see when we get to it all right I got our prayer list here. We'll do that in the video. Okay, so let's begin. Are you following along? Oh, I'll check. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit, who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. God has so much mercy and He has forgiven so many times, so many times, and we patient so many times. Take a place in the Bible and you will see. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. In order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God not by works so that no one can boast for we are god's handiwork created in christ jesus to do good works which god prepared in advance for us to do like i say all the time each and every single one of us was put here on this earth for a reason god knit us together in our mother's womb every single one of us made us the way he wanted us to look made us special the way he wanted us and he made a special job on this earth for each and every single one of us that only he wanted us to fulfill that only we could fulfill now we'll probably never know what that job is only god will know and it could be something very very simple but it would be something very important. And when our job is done, then God will bring us home, back home to Him. So you could be, you'll do your job and not even know it. It could be as simple as, you know, helping a stranger. Little things are often the greatest things. Now we're going to get into Jew and Gentile. 
the Gentiles being reconciled through Christ. Therefore, remember that formerly you who are Gentiles by birth and called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcision, which is done in the body by human hands, remember that at that time you were separate from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel, and foreigners to the covenants of the promise, which hope, and without God in the world. We were not accepted. Gentiles were not accepted. But now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Since Jesus died for our sins, he died for everyone's sins, so we are all accepted. Jesus died for us all. He accepts us all, and God accepts us all. For he himself is our peace, who has made the two groups one, and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility, by setting aside in his flesh the law with its commands and the regulations his purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace, and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near, for through him we both have access to the Father by one spirit. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. All right, guys, and that's where we're going to stop with Ephesians today. That was Ephesians chapter 2. Now, isn't that wonderful? So everybody, there is no excuse. Everybody has the chance to be saved and go to heaven. Everybody is loved so, so much. And every, God wants the best for all of his children. God wants all of us to turn to him, all of his children to turn to him and do what is right. But sadly, all of us are not going to. Sadly, some of God's children, some of our brothers and sisters on this earth don't even believe in our Father. God and our brother Jesus. They don't even believe in them. And it's going to be a sad day when they find out that they've been wrong all this time. Because we don't want to see anybody go to hell. We don't want to see anybody go to hell. We need to pray for all the lost souls. Hey guys, our song today is Psalm 67. For the director of music with stringed instruments, a song, a song. This is another song. Just a short one, it's got seven verses. May God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face shine on us, so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you rule the peoples with equity and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. The land yields its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. May God bless us still so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. And that was Psalm 67. For the director of music with stringed instruments, a song, a song. 
Alright, now, this is a little bit longer, Proverbs today, Proverbs chapter 23 verses 29 through 35, because this is saying 19 of the 30 sayings of the wise. This is all saying 19. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has strife? Who has complaints? Who has needless bruises? Who has bloodshot eyes? Those who linger over wine, who go to sample bowls of mixed wine, do not gaze at wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it goes down smoothly. In the end, it bites like a snake and poisons like a viper. Your eyes will see strange sights and your mind will imagine confusing things. You will, you will be like one sleeping on the high seas, lying on top of the rigging. They hit me, you will say, but I'm not hurt. They beat me, but I don't feel it. When will I wake up so I can find another drink? And that was saying 19 of the 30 sayings of the wise. Proverbs chapter 23, verses 29 through 35. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I got our prayer list here. Let me go through the list of names. We got Danette and her fur baby, Band-Aid. All the people affected by the hurricane. Everyone in the schools and on the school buses. Abby Myers. Sherman Crabtree, Sarah Gillum, Barb Post, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Nora Carper, Michelle Watkins, Judy Osborne, Joe Osborne, Melody Ramey, Kinsley and Olson Osborne, Gabe, Toby and Kaylee Ramey, Elizabeth Jeffries, April and Linda Thacker, Garnet Boyer and Jim, Norma Boyer, Cara and Josh Newman, Randy Post, Jody Mahorder, Nikki Mahorder, Ronnie Mahorder, Ramona Henry, Zach, Elizabeth Helfe, Rhonda Karshner, Norman Karshner, Jimmy Myers, Mindy Gallimore, Michelle Turner, and Cohen Richmond. So it is the same people as always, guys. That's why I, um, yesterday I mentioned if you guys wrote down, like I wrote down, I had a list of people so we could just go through them every day. And I would let you know if anything changed or their conditions or anything changed. Or if we needed to add someone else, of course, or take one of them off. Alright, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Great into your weekend. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.